So we have two builders now working on the parking lot and we're making money. So in the moment, we're not making any profit, but we already sold seven items. We made $104 out of seven items. Holy balls. Greetings, guys and girls and fellow gamers. My name is Games of Kicks and welcome to another brick in the mall. Yes, mall, not wall. Another brick in the mall is a simulator management game. It looks pretty much like Prison Architect from the way it's designed. It is very, very cool looking and it's a lot of fun to play. I spent about four hours on it already and it's all about designing, building and managing a gigantic shopping center, open shops, supermarkets, restaurants, movie theaters and bowling alleys and even more. You hire and manage the best of staff for the job and milk your customers. Oh yeah, baby, for all they're worth. Um, we're going to do this episode, maybe a couple of more, and then we'll see how you guys like it. I hope you're going to enjoy it. And if you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the series and the channel. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. We're going to start a new game. I'm going to leave the tutorial on because this game is in early access. And even though you could pretty much figure it all out, I suppose, like eventually, like without the tutorial, I want to see, I want you guys to see that the tutorial is actually doing a very good job in getting you started, which a lot of early access games don't do, but this game does, which is really good. So we're going to leave it on so you guys can see actually what's what. The tutorial explains it better than me anyway. Start with 200,000, normal research and normal builders. You can have fast builders if you want to. Your research, uh, you can unlock all research objects right away. There is research research in the game which is time based so you just select what you want to research and then over time it will just add research points to it until you reach the max and that way it allows you to unlock more items to sell different types of foods more uh, fac facilities like bowling alleys or toilets or restaurants and all that jazz or diff building different types of roads and parking spaces all that stuff good stuff so let's get started and here's our starting map as you can see here, we start off with this little map. I paused the game in the moment. The game has different types of speeds. Uh, this is hotkey one, two, three, and four, and pressing space toggles between the two you had active. So if you, if I go fast and press space, goes pause, then back to fast. Anyway, leave it paused for the moment. Let's follow the tutorial along uh, before we get into too much details. We, want, we don't want to overflow on information here. Hello and welcome. You have somehow in inherited this massive land. Regional planning, however, forbids residential or industrial zoning in the area. Commercial is your only option. So let's continue. Uh, let's have a look. So WASD is to move around or your arrow keys if you're right-handed and you prefer it on that side. Um, use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out or middle mouse button to move around. There we go. Now everybody is sick and dizzy and we're all going to throw up together. Ugh. Very good. Excellent. Continue. So this short tutorial will walk you through opening your first business. Let's get started. Of course, if you wouldn't be, be, make the uh, play the tutorial, you could build wherever you want. But that is now where we have to start. To build, to start building, you need to build a foundation first. So you go into one of these four menus. We have them all hotkeyed. Select this E, assign is F, manage is C, and build is R. You can hotkey that, but then you have to use your mouse anyway to select the sub options. Now, here we have to go and say we want foundations. You have different options. You have roadworks, remove roadworks, foundations, remove foundations. So rather than having a, I don't know, uh, an option, what you want to do with something, it has it like this, which is okay. You know, it works. Uh, wall objects, uh, remove wall objects and floor tiles. Now, we want in the moment just build a foundation. So let's go and drag and drop this foundation over here. Now we need to obviously let our builder finish. We have one builder currently active. Now the way this game works is that your employees that you hire, you can put into different time slots on shifts. So if we look at our um, manage tab and we look at our maintenance center, we can see that we have actually three builders. However, the only builder currently on site is Elizabeth Hain. No, not Elizabeth. Whoopsie. What is her name? Hey, who are you? Elizabeth. Yes, I was right. The only builder on site is Elizabeth, Elizabeth and she is to start at 7 o'clock. Now, the next person coming in is at 1,500 hours and the next person at 2,300 hours. Um, that means we always have 24 hours, at least one person there. So if we move this person around, you can see starting splits is formed. If she comes in at 8, there's nobody going to be here between 3 and 8. So that's not good. So we want to make sure that she starts at 3 so we have always a builder there. Now, why the builder is building that? Let me. Uh, there's the second. There's the second builder coming now. It's Deborah, is it? Yeah. And Deborah is now coming, and now Elizabeth is leaving. And then at 2,300 hours, Allison is coming in. So, oops. So they have a bit of an overcut, which is absolutely brilliant. So there's always two for a short period of time. 
Now, we wait for this to finish, and in the meantime, I'm going to show you some of these menus. So what we have here is we have different types of tabs. We have statistics, finances, research, and needs. Your statistics, they show you different types of statistics, as you one would assume. Um, how your salary is, how your debt is, how your peak customers go. And it can do with some advancements uh, uh, to show you some better information or more detail, but we're going to get into that. Uh, finances basically shows you your standard, what you would expect, your maintenance costs, your salaries, your debt, your gross profit, your net profit. Research is what you research, which I touched upon a little earlier. So if you research an item, you you can't really uh, um, research as in a tree. It's not really a tree. Well, there is some things. You can't, for example, have a restaurant research until cold chain is researched, which is a prerequisite. And cold chain unlocks some different types of food. And then you can open the restaurant. In the moment, we just need to have the basic research researched so we can actually do any any future research. So let's do that. Um, needs shows you what your customers want more, I suppose. But in the moment, we don't have any customers. And I suppose this becomes important after a couple of days. Now let's wait for our builder to finish. Do all these buttons here are also exactly the same. They just have them over here instead of here. And then we have other things like parking, which shows you in the moment you have 10 spaces, including your customers and your staff, uh, 10 parking spaces. This is how many items you have sold. This is your profit overview quickly. Again, you click on it. It brings you to the statistics. It probably should bring you to finances right away. That would be good. Um, then we have our debt and then our cash. So quick overview and objectives. Open a business. So we're still not open. We have to wait for the guys to finish. So let's fast forward a bit. Now that we're finished with building the foundation, we have to put doors in. Now there's going to be a staff door and a double door, as you guessed correctly. The staff door is for staff and the door here is for everybody. So let's build an everybody door. Objects. As you noticed, obviously, there is no sound in the game for building and no background music. I didn't turn it off. There just isn't at this time, but that's not as important. Um, there is sound for cars already and for doors, I think, when they open and close. But um, we'll see. Anyway, that's... I just want to let you know that so you don't think that uh, I turned it all off. <laughs> so we have our little builder building the doors and then we're going to have to build a wall. So we're going to have to go to walls, drag the wall down. Our builder will start and putting the wall down and then we're going to need to go into objects and put another staff door there. Come on, hurry up. Excellent. There we go. Nice. Now that we have a door there, we can assign this area as a zone. So you're going to go here and you have different types of zone. You have storage, store, st store zones, fast food restaurant. As you can see, it says locked requires project restaurants. So that's what your research is basically for. It tells you what you have to research. Maintenance center, we already have one in an area to hire and manage builders and janitors. I don't think that needs to be bigger. I think that size is fine. It's just for a couple of people to be hired and fired, I suppose. So let's do storage zone and sonify the storage there we go and now we also can assign the store zone so that means now we officially said this will be our store and this will be our storage if we're now going to build it wants us to put several shelves in so we have some food shelves that we have to put in and some normal shelves and some more food shelves there we go excellent now our shop already has nine shelves and it needs a checkout counter. As you can see on the objects, it has everything in it from fast food restaurant items to toilet items to uh, general decoration items, which I think of obviously in the future, uh, this will hopefully just get subcategories so you don't have to go through tons and tons of things. But I would assume that also then this allows uh, for more items to be added. So let's have our cash register there, our checkout counters, very good. You will need to set a product to sell on your shelf. So what we have to do now is we're gonna have to tell it what we want to sell on each shelf. In the moment, we have um, health and beauty, household items. These are normal shelves. On these normal shelves, we can do different products than on food shelves. On food shelves, we only can put food and beverages on it. Meanwhile, on these shelves, we can put only toys, tools, household items, and health and beauty. Now, the game itself probably couldn't care less if you, have, if you sell tampons here and bread here. I don't think it cares. Yeah. Now, there might be hidden which i don't realize yet or it will be in the future that if you put weird items together like you put your bread and your tampons together that and then say more bread down here and then more health beauty down here that shoppers will just go what the hell man like you know there's no organization and get pissed off i don't know in the moment it doesn't seem to be an issue so but i like to stick with things that are kind of the same so i'm gonna put health and beauty here in the back and i'm gonna stick with health and beauty and 
There we go. Nice. So let's let us let us let's do that. Okay, the builders don't need to do that. We just need to assign it. So now what we do here is we're gonna put um beverages. No beverages are like in fridges. So food. I'm going to put my breakfast cereal here. You can put all shelves as breakfast cereal, by the way, but it's not recommended in the beginning because it's only later on when you know you have items which are really hot that you have multiple shelves with them. So breakfast cereal is fine. What goes well with breakfast cereal? I would say coffee and tea. And we all know, especially in Ireland, if you have a cup of tea, if you have a cup of char, as they say, you need your bickies, okay? You can't have a cup of, a cup of tea without the bickies. Set food, food production. So what we're going to do here is we're going to keep it off. Uh, we're going to put savory down there so and some bread. So we're going to put bread there. And when you have bread, of course, we're going to put some rice and pasta there. And we're going to put some sauces there. I think that's a very good start for a shop. Some nice hygienic items and some basic grocery food items. Very good. Now, here we have to make a zone for loading. So we're going to go back here in building objects. And I know it says zone, but it's not a type of zone like this that you assign. This is actually so we have... A loading zone. This is actually a road item. So now we're going to do that. The builder has to come and make that zone. It's the same as parking spots. The builders have to build them. There we go. And now it says go to manage and select to store your store in the list and click the zone tab and assign the storage. So in the moment, our storage is empty because it doesn't know what to store because we haven't connected the two. But before we connect them, let me show you a feature. You can actually rename them. So our storage can be called kicks. Uh, sorry, store storage. So this storage is for for the store, and then we can take the store and we can name it to kicks stores. Kicks stores. There we go. Lovely. And now we're gonna tell the store, hey, I want you to use this storage. And now everybody will put things in that storage that are for the shop, which is pretty cool. Now, what we need to do is we need to assign staff. So we have to hire a cashier and a stock clerk. Now, in the moment, um, our opening hours in our shop, if we look at our store, is nine o'clock to, uh, to five o'clock. Now, I'm gonna leave this for the moment, but you very quickly want them pretty much, eventually you want this to be a 24 hour store. End of story, nobody ever sleeps, everybody goes in, nobody comes out, things like that. So in the moment, nine to five is absolutely fine. So if we look at our uh, staff staff tab, you have to have the right thing selected because if you go to maintenance and you go to staff, you have janitors and builders. If you go to the store and you go to staff, you have cashiers and clerks, the stock clerks. So let's hire a cashier. Now, a cashier, oh, okay, 21, 27. So this is the best cashier out of the choices we have. He is pretty fast. Uh, his name is Freddy. He's 46. He has a lot of patience, which is good. And he's very sociable. Uh, he's an okay cashier, I suppose, but the best out of the litter. So we're going to hire him. Once we hired our staff, he will show up in the staff list here. Now, if we look at our start at our opening hours, we are open from nine to five. So we want to make sure he's actually there for nine to five. Now, the game does recommend, you can see it in a little while, that you actually have them come in a little earlier. And that is because of traffic, you know, you can get stuck in traffic, they can be running late, so you don't want them to be running late, late, so you kind of want to give them a little bit of time. So let's start him at 8 o'clock here, and then I think he will work pretty much all the way through. Oh, he will stop just an hour before he's finished, so, which is not good. I will see, we'll see. Anyway, so now that that is done, we manage the staff, we click a cashier and stock. So let's get a stock clerk. Now let's see, stock clerk, 20, 24. Oh, 3141. Hello, Orson. How are you doing? You speed, you have no patience. That is good. So you will stock everything really quickly. Very good. I like it. Let's hire you. Now that we have hired the both, it says, congratulations. Here are some tips for smooth expansion. Your parking lot will fill up very quickly. Build more customer parking to accommodate more visitors. The default store opening hours are a number blah, blah, blah. Manage to store, use, to use your store to open earlier and close later. You will also need to hire cashiers to work those hours. Offering a greater diversity of products will attract a lot more customers. Research projects to unlock highly thought uh, sought products such as fresh food, clothes, or alcohol. Finally, having multiple businesses will make your customers stay on site and spend a whole lot more. Research and build restaurants, bowling alleys, and movie theaters to be the number one destination for nearby shoppers. 
Thank you for following the tutorial. You're on your own now. Good luck. Tooltips and notifications are your friends. Let's fill this land. Wild land with concrete and capitalism. I like it. Anyway, so we are on our own now. So what we have done so far is we have a stock clerk who's going to show up at 9. We're going to say, hey, show up at 8, okay? And we have a cashier who's going to show up at 8 as well. So they're on their way to work now. So let's speed up the speed up everything. There we go. Our shop should open at 9, which is in a couple of seconds. There we go. Now leave it normal runtime. We can see that our stock guy is putting items in the shelf. Let's get rid of this. And there is Gina. She's delivery. Hi, Gina. How are you? She's a delivery girl. Very nice. And who do we have here? This is Philip. So Gina and Philip are our delivery guys. And then here's our stock. And then we have... Orson deliver everything. Is that Gina again? Holy balls, she's fast. That's not Gina. Who are you? Pat. Where's Gina? Why is Gina not here? And here, see, our, our, our shelves are filled with the items that we have designated pads and tampons. Here we are. That's not Gina either. Why is there always somebody else? I really, I really trusted Gina. I don't trust the other guys. Uh, food shelf, displaying sauces and seasoning. Now, there is some information missing here. And I, over time, hopefully... Oh, is that Gina again? No, it's not. It's Muddy Balls. Anyway, who do we have here? Regina. She's a customer. She came to our shop. She's queuing for rice and pasta in our store. Very good. I like it. So she's ringing it up. She got some pasta on the, on the belt. And off she goes. Happy days. Look at that. Come on. There we go. Lovely. Now we just have to wait for customers. Now the parking lot is going to fill up. You can see here the highest number of cars that are actually shown in the moment. Two cars is the parking usage. Uh, three cars. So if we look at here, we can see it here. Three, a car, three cars. So we definitely do want to start expanding our parking for the customers. So we might as well do that right now on the other side. Customer parking. There we go. And just might as well have our builder do that while we do nothing and just wait for money to come in. So customers are starting to come in now, very good. We have Catherine, and we have Carrie. She has even a little basket. And they have these love hearts in their eyes sometimes, and that must be, obviously, they're very happy. So they all have their items. Oh, who is this? It's Freddy. Oh, another Freddy. He's browsing for sliced bread. Hey, Freddy, have you met Freddy? Are you guys related? No, okay. And then we have Carrie. She would like to work as another cashier here, I think. So she's in looking for a job. Look at that. It is filling up already very big. Now, the one thing I don't like, actually, and I made a mistake there, um, is I put all the parking spots down. They're not building parking spot by parking spot. And I really hope that's going to change. Because in the moment, if you want parking spots to be immediately used, you're going to have to build one, let it finish, build the next, build the next. Otherwise, you have this nonsense going on where they build a half of a parking spot first for everyone and then the other half which is a bit annoying so we're going to actually hire another builder so let's hire a new builder hire builder and i want you there for during the day when i really really need you so we're going to see builder 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 23 23 25 uh, 35 sorry yeah 35 that would be it so we hire joanna and joanna is going to work the nine to five shift because that is probably when most of the time um we need people there but i wanted to come in now she's stuck in traffic okay i want you to come now on the way to work excellent and once she's in we're going to change the time again there we go excellent have her come in at 10 very nice so we have a little oops we have a little bit of time covered there between our builders that's very good nice so we have two builders now working on the parking lot and we're making money. So in the moment, we're not making any profit, but we already sold seven items. We made $104 out of seven items. Holy balls. This shop is very expensive. And this is our customers. We had seven customers today so far. So let's speed everything up a little bit. Very nice. Look at this go. We're going to wait for the parking lot to be finished. Oh, we got some red item here. What is that? Missed sales opportunity. Two customers can't access the center because there are no available spots in the parking lot. I know! I'm working on it, dude! There we go. It's flourishing. It's running. It's not too bad. We actually have everything going now. Our shop is closing for the evening. That is it. Let's see what our daily daily profit was. It actually was a negative because our salaries 
we can't even cover our salaries in the moment. So we have to spend more money to make money. So we're going to have to expand. But we're going to do that in the next episode, guys. We're going to leave this one here. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you're going to enjoy this mini series. It will be at least another one or two episodes. Like just to see. Uh, I mean, I enjoy the game actually a lot. I like these games. I just usually I'm very bad at them. But this game is actually very, very fun. So I'm going to leave it here. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope I see you guys in the next episode. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time until then as always feel spaz and happy gaming might as well have you guys work through the night do your job there you go and nice i like it work make my shop bigger make it magnificent it's gonna be amazing